Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will be talking about assemblers. So, what is an assembler? So, I will tell you the functions of an assembler. Before that, if you do like this video, don't don't forget to press the like and subscribe button. And do don't forget to comment if you have any doubts. So, let's begin. Now uh, let us see the basic assembler functions. What is a basic uh, function of an assembler? First is translating mnemonic operation codes to the machine language equivalent. We know that everything over here is a code. J is a LDA, everything is a code. The actual code behind this in zeros and ones is converted by the assembler. Everything over here gets converted into zeros and ones and we get a new code. Uh, we get a uh, equivalent machine language for the mnemonic operation codes. Second, assigning machine address symbolic labels used in the program. So, assembler assigns address to the mnemonic codes. Suppose J sub, J sub is assigned 15 in the uh, memory. 15 is the relative location. Suppose you start from 000, then it will be on 15. Suppose you start from 5000, then it will be on 5015. So it is relative to the starting location. You will see more about it in program relocation. And I have created a video based on that. If you don't understand, you can refer that. Next, let's move on. This is just proved with an example. Now let us see uh, what all are the assembler directives. So start specifies this uh, name and starting address of the program. So this is a sample and this you can see start specifies the starting address and name of the program. Name of the program is copy and mnemonic code is start and address is 1000. So this program is starting from 1000. Now, uh, n indicates the indicates the end of the source program and specifies the first executable instruction in the program. That means uh, either you can give either you can give the, the opcode mnemonic code as first, or you can give the address starting address. That means if even if you give here thousand, it is fine. It will say that uh, what is started in thousand is ending over here. Otherwise, you can give first, no problem. Now, byte. Byte is used for storing constants. What it does is generates character or hexadecimal constant occupying as many bytes as needed to represent a constant. So, suppose you had to represent uh, a value say x. x you have to, x is a constant. And the value of the constant is 0, 5. So, what byte does is, it creates a space for storing. Next is word. It generates one word integer constants. So what it word does is it is only for integers. And space occupied by word is three bytes. We have seen that in the previous video. Uh, it's named SIC machine architecture. So in that we have seen word occupies three bytes, whereas byte occupies one byte. Now, R E S B. 
what it means is reserved byte reserved byte indicates the number of bytes for the data area that means how much uh, number of bytes we should give for the data area that means this is the name of the constant and for 0 5 how much of data should we give for storing 0 5 same is the case with resw only thing is here it is byte and here it is word now we see two types of record buffers read record and write record what read record does is to read a record into a buffer why we use buffer buffer is used for saving time and increasing the speed so there are two types it's not such important i'm just keeping it now uh, we see a simple assembler and here we see more functions of an assembler first one we have already seen converts mnemonic operation codes written machine language second it converts symbol operands into the machine equivalent address third build the machine instructions in proper format fourth convert the data constant specified in the source program into their internal machine representation fifth write the object program into assembly listing so uh, these are the things based on the given example you will see you can just match it out in the given example now why we need a two pass assembler we will discuss in the next video till then stay tuned i will put the link in the description of the next video uh, please don't forget to like subscribe thank you